Today is a very, very special day, my friends. Today, The Sims 3 turns 10 years old, and my little Sims obsessed heart feels very full and very emotional right now because they grow up so fast, and I cannot believe this game came out 10 years ago. Now, I haven't been playing it for 10 years, I'm gonna be honest, I'm 19 years old. I did not play The Sims when I was seven, nine, whatever, like I wasn't a Sims 2 player. I played The Sims 3 when I was in middle school though, so I was like 11 through 13-ish when I first started playing. I was, I was 11, I was in sixth grade. I was having a really rough time, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Middle school is wild uh, in many bad ways, but I started playing The Sims that summer and it changed my life in many ways As you can probably imagine I now play The Sims for a living So this is a very close game to my heart Okay, and I thought to celebrate the anniversary of this game's release We would go back and kind of take a look at one of the most iconic families in The Sims franchise because the land grab family you know them, you probably don't love them, maybe you do, I don't know, I'm not here to judge, but the land crabs, you definitely recognize the name. They exist in every Sims game. They, without, maybe they're playable, maybe they're mentioned, I don't know, but they're definitely around. And they're like a staple of the Sims now. There's actually a really cool video about the entire history of this family that's on YouTube by Plamella Sims. I'll link it down below. You should watch it. If you're a Sims freak like I am, you're gonna love it. <laughs> if you're not a Sims freak, still watch it. You'll just get some like, it's a history lesson, you know? Come on guys. <laughs> and I'm a history major, so I'm a big fan. <laughs> of Sims history in particular, but today I don't want to go through and give like an in-depth history of this family because that's been done before and better than I could do it, but I want to make fun of them because the Sims 3 land grabs are very different from the Sims 4 land grabs. Granted, the Sims 4 is in an alternate reality than the other Sims games, so it's a little bit different anyway, but when you look at these land grabs compared to the Sims 4 ones, I think you'll be a little bit surprised. <laughs> so I want to show off their house and everything today because I think that you'll enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie. I had fun coming back and looking at this because I haven't looked at all the Sims 3 land grabs in a long time. They live in Sunset Valley here, which is the base game world in the Sims 3, which Oh man, this is just like the good old days, let me tell you. <laughs> I played The Sims 3 base game with no packs, no CC for like two years. And um, this was my home right here, this place. <laughs> Look at that, so friendly, so familiar. Oh man, I should play in Sunset Valley again, it's been a while. But anyway, they live out here in Sunset Valley and their house is way up here in the fancy mansion area. There's also a stable there that doesn't usually exist there. Okay, that came that came with the new, with pack. Pets. I almost said cats and dogs. This is The Sims 3, not Sims 4. Wait, help. But they live here. <laughs> I'm gonna hide their house from you for now, but this is their across-the-street neighbor, the Alto family. Also a classic. Not in The Sims 4, though. They don't exist in The Sims 4. But this is their home, and they're some classic enemies <laughs> of the land grabs. But I'm gonna open up my Sims 4 game and show you guys them in The Sims 4. Like a quick refresher, you know, in case you missed it. Maybe you haven't played The Sims 4. Who knows? But we're gonna take a look, okay? We're gonna just... we're gonna analyze. We're gonna take some notes. I'm also currently trying to open my Sims 4 game while this game is still open, so like probably a mistake to run them both at the same time because this is The Sims 3. She doesn't run at all, but we're just gonna try. We'll, we'll try. I mean, it appears to be running, so maybe we're fine. I don't know. Oh, let's play in summer. The Sims 4 land grabs live in Oasis Springs, which as you can probably tell is vastly different from Sunset Valley. This is like a desert world. Sunset Valley is just a classic suburban town. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot greener out here. It's kind of on a beach. There's water around and kind of hilly and stuff Just the complete opposite of Oasis Springs and the land grabs in The Sims 4 live in this house this weird Mansion thing honestly potentially my least favorite house in The Sims 4. I'm not gonna lie It's just it's so wide and long. I I don't I mean that's not necessarily a bad thing But it's just it's such a weird house like interesting I guess but also again super weird Similar, however, in shape to their Sims 3 house. Just, um, it's very modern, uh, a lot of big giant windows, you know, they have a lot of space. <laughs> they've got a few living areas in here. They've got some outdoor living areas. They've got a big fancy dining room and kitchen. Upstairs, they've got only a couple bedrooms, actually. Only two bedrooms in this giant mansion house. But, I mean, they only have, it's just the two of them and their one son, so it's fine. They also have this, like, kind of study area upstairs. I imagine in real life this would be like kind of a cinema room type thing and I would really enjoy that in real life. Also, the placement of these couches is really frustrating to me. Like, I'm, I'm deeply upset by this, but I'm not here to judge their build quality. I'm just here to talk about The Sims. <laughs> also, I imagine this house would have a pool, uh, except this is The Sims 4 base game and you might not know this, but when The Sims 4 base game came out, pools didn't exist. They were added in a later update, so anything from the base game here, like the base base game, the OG base game, if you will, 
no pool, but space for one. So that's good. But these are the Sims. So we have Jeffrey Landgrab here. We've got his wife, Nancy Landgrab, and their son, Malcolm. And they, you know, are uh, some some cute guys. <laughs> Real stunner right there, let me tell you. No offense, Malcolm, but his cheese hair is just terrible. <laughs> but Malcolm here is kind of a brat. He wants to be a public enemy, which is just great. He's in high school. He's a C student. He's got the charisma and mischief skills only friends with his parents. He also is a snob and evil and has the dastardly trait from his aspirations. So not like the most high quality guy, uh, kind of sucks, <laughs> but that's fine. We love him anyway. Now the Landgrab family is a really established name, right? And Nancy is the link to that. Nancy is a descendant of the Landgrabs and her husband, Jeffrey, is not. So Jeffrey took her last name, which, you know, cute and all, but like it's all about the power and the titles and stuff, right? <laughs> But Nancy wants to be very rich, obviously. She's in the secret agent career in this game, and she also actually happens to be a criminal right now. Nancy's in the criminal career in The Sims 4, uh, which is interesting, and her husband is actually a secret agent. So that's kind of a cool thing how she's a criminal, he's kind of fighting back against her. I feel like in my mind, it, they call her a criminal, right? But I like the idea of her not being like your classic, like, I steal money criminal, but she's like a high level, like, I don't know, abusing her power and fraudulent kind of crime. Like, we're not talking like, ooh, I robbed a bank, but like, I committed tax fraud. It feels more fitting to me, like, that Nancy Langrod would be like that. And then again, her husband's a detective, so he's fighting against her, trying to, <laughs> trying to crush her and, and such. Maybe not. Maybe they're, like, working together secretly, so, like, he's pretending that he can't catch her. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> but Nancy here has the charisma, comedy, fitness, and programming skills, and her traits She's a snob, ambitious, and materialistic. I think very fitting. I, she's definitely a very like career-oriented gal, even if her career is not the best one. <laughs> she cares a lot about money and image and power and all that. I mean, it makes sense given her family line and all that stuff. They're all like that. She also only knows her husband and son, which is just kind of typical of The Sims 4. In The Sims 3, they kind of set up more relationships and had more background to things. Not in this game, unfortunately. Also, how dumb is it that she's level five of this career, needs the mischief skill for it, and has none of it? Like, Sims team setting this up, why didn't you give her the mischief skill if she needs it for her career? Stupid. Like, give her level five or something. I don't know. Anyway, that bothers me a lot. But <laughs> her husband, Jeffrey. <laughs> Again, he is a detective. He also has the successful lineage aspiration kind of fitting again for a person who has such a like high tie to family lines and power and all that stuff. He's got the charisma, fitness, mischief, and video gaming skills. And also, in his traits, he's a better character than his family is. He's outgoing, good, and family oriented. I think that kind of comes from the fact that he's not a land grab by blood. He's one by marriage. So the bloodline land grabs, Nancy and Malcolm, kind of suck. But you know, there is some good in this family. I feel like Jeffrey's a stand-up guy. He definitely is kind of into money and power and stuff still, obviously, look at who he married, but he's got some better traits and a little bit better of a career path than his wife does. Now, it gets a little bit sticky, though, when you read their bio. The Landgrabs seem like the perfect family, wealthy, well-mannered, brilliant, but Nancy and Jeffrey are each hiding something. Will their secrets tear them apart, or will they continue to build a wealthy dynasty? Now, is that the fact that they have these opposing careers, or is it the fact that they have a secret son that they've disowned. Johnny Zest, which you may or may not know this, Johnny Zest is their son. They disowned him because he wanted to be a comedian, and he is now living in a trailer park in Oasis Springs. He has the stage name and the dream, but maybe not the talent. Disowned by the land grabs for quitting school, Johnny wants to make his own fame and fortune as a stand-up comedian. Now, this is where it gets weird because Johnny Zest doesn't exist in The Sims 3. He also doesn't exist in their family tree, which I think is really frustrating. Because in The Sims 3 family tree, I'll show you guys in a second, you can see in Nancy's parents and grandparents, like as ghosts in the family tree. In The Sims 4 one, you only see Nancy and Jeffrey. You don't even see Johnny, who is biologically their child, but not, the game doesn't know that. But he is, in his bio you can tell that, but he exists and has been disowned. So maybe he exists in The Sims 3 as well, but we just don't see him because he's been disowned. I don't know. But these are The Sims 4 land grabs. We got a real stunner here with this one, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and hop back into The Sims 3, though. My game's still open, so, like, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, like I said, the land grab house in The Sims 3 is very, very different from The Sims 4. It's this kind of older, more Tudor-styled house, and you remember The Sims 4 land grab house is, like, this modern, sort of, very different house. The complete opposites, to be honest. Opposite kind of world, opposite kind of house, but they have this very big, old mansion. I imagine it'd be, like, one that's been passed down through the family. If it's a house like this, like, you don't just buy a house like this, you know, like, 
your dead great great grandpa built this. <laughs> but they have a pool, which The Sims 4 cannot relate to. They have a cool hedge maze thing. They've got, it's just a really cool place, like in general. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of weird and ugly, but the idea of it's great. <laughs> they have this like pond area. I don't know, it's real nice. I'm, I'm very impressed by this. But then you go into the house and oh boy, <laughs> it's very grand. We have really cool grand entryways. We've got these dining room areas. We have this kitchen, which is really weird, but honestly, I respect it. We've got two bathrooms on either side here. We've got a cool study area, another study area, like a his and hers study, oh, goals. And then we have this kind of fancy living room space. And upstairs, they have more than two bedrooms, actually. And what did I say about cinema room area? Remember that when I talked about the thing upstairs? They've got like a cool like sitting viewing area for a TV. But then here, they actually have three bedrooms in this house, um, which is interesting because, you know, maybe, just maybe, I imagine this one would be Malcolm's because he's the youngest son. Then they have this other room, which maybe is a guest room, but it also kind of has the vibes of like what was potentially a kid's room in the past. Was that Johnny Zest's room? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a theory. <laughs> but that's their whole house. I kind of like it. I also kind of hate it with a fiery passion. I actually rebuilt this house in The Sims 4. I did this a lot back in the day. I used to look at Sims 3 houses and rebuild them block by block in The Sims 4. And this is what I came up with for this house. I obviously, I kept out the front bit, like with the garage area and stuff. And I changed the front a little bit because I couldn't get it to like work with the driveway. I kind of figured like in my mind, this was the loopy driveway that they have in The Sims 3. Because you can see they've got this kind of area here, which I couldn't really match with this giant lot. So I ended up cutting out a couple things but this is the sims 3 land grab house in the sims 4 again did it block by block to the best of my ability i left out the pond area because i couldn't get it to work but i recreated the maze even <laughs> we've got all of it. Do you recognize this now? Are you are you seeing it now, Mr. Krabs? I'm sorry, but I, I recreated it again with Sims 4 objects. I think it looks pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. You might recognize it. <laughs> I did my best here. It's weird when you're doing this because you kind of have to decide, do I care more about color or pattern? Because you can't match things with creative style like you can in The Sims 3. In The Sims 3, you can get a literal color wheel and get any color and any pattern you want on any object anywhere. Like, I could change the color and pattern of this this cabinet of the countertop of the cabinet above it like you could I could change the outside of the window and the inside separately you could do it all in the sims 3 we can't do that in the sims 4 I was very limited to what we have access to but I think it worked out you can see I, I recreated it it looks pretty interesting I was proud of this I'm not gonna lie it took me so long to do but it's funny to see a thing like this from The Sims 3 in The Sims 4, because you almost see how bad it is when you put it in The Sims 4, you know? Like, you look at this here and you're like, wow, these were some choices that you made. <laughs> Back to this game, though, you can see their house is pretty interesting. Now, The Sims 3 Sims have a lot more skills. You'll notice they have better skills and, and more ones. Uh, Jeffrey has the logic skill, the painting skill, the cooking skill, and the writing skill, different than The Sims 4. He's actually a doctor in The Sims 3 as well, and he's been a doctor for a long time. In the other Sims games, that he's kind of known as a doctor, and his son wants to be a doctor as well because he's kind of following his dad's footsteps. Now, he's not a doctor in The Sims 4 and I have a theory as to why. Maybe it's because they had this like criminal secret agent like crossover fight, but also the doctor career doesn't exist in The Sims 4 base game. So obviously he couldn't be a doctor. It's physically impossible. <laughs> and Nancy over here, she's actually a business woman. She's in the business career, which does exist in The Sims 4 base game. But if you didn't know, that career came out in a later update. It didn't exist in the original Sims 4 base game. So while Nancy is known for having this really expensive, expensive, really <laughs> rich, fancy business position and being a very well-known businesswoman. The career didn't exist in The Sims 4 when it came out, so she's not a businesswoman in that game. Which is just different in game limitations and stuff, but also kind of weird that such a classic family would be changed so much. Like, their storylines were just completely flipped. I mean, I guess she's not really a stand-up gal <laughs> working as this vice president, but it's interesting that she's now a criminal instead of a vice president in a company. Like, those are very different careers. She only has two skills the painting and athletic skill. Interesting choices, I guess. <laughs> but in this game, The Sims 3 has more traits. So in The Sims 3, she's a workaholic, perfectionist, charismatic, snob, and ambitious. Very similar to The Sims 4. She's also ambitious and a snob in The Sims 4, but she's just got a few more options here. Her husband, Jeffrey, is also has way better traits in this game. He's a good sense of humor, loves the outdoors, family-oriented, hopeless romantic, and charismatic. He's got similar traits to his Sims 4 counterpart as well. But their son, Malcolm, has completely flipped. Like, Malcolm is the complete 
opposite in this game than in The Sims 4. Malcolm in The Sims 4 is an evil, awful person, but Malcolm in this game is a cute little buddy. Like, look at- this is a, not the same guy. <laughs> Like, look at him with his little yellow glasses. Don't you want to just, like, hug him and pinch his cheeks? Anyway, he's a bookworm good and ambitious, whereas in The Sims 4, he's literally evil. So something has happened in his growing up that has really changed his course here, because he's a child in this game, but a teen in The Sims 4. So maybe, I don't know, is it that they disowned his older brother? But where where is he? Where is Jeffrey? He doesn't exist. They have a family tree in this save, which is kind of cool. So you can see Nancy and Malcolm and their son, but you can actually see Nancy's grandparents and great-grandparents in the family tree, which is really cool because they actually exist in a graveyard in this game, so they kind of float around over there and stuff. But you can see her father, Chester, and Queenie, and then her grandparents, Kermit, and Kitty Landgraf, which is really cool. You can see even her father's traits. He was evil, a schmoozer, over-emotional, and had commitment issues. And her mom actually died kind of young, but she was ambitious, computer whiz, mooch, light sleeper, and a snob. I just think that's kind of cool to see, like, the family tree and the family line there. It'd be nice to have that in The Sims 4. I wish that they did stuff like that. Because this just makes the storyline feel so much more real and so much more exciting. Now, these Sims actually also look very different from their Sims 4 counterparts as well. But you can definitely see the similar vibes here between Nancy in The Sims 3 and Nancy in The Sims 4. From, like, the blue eyeshadow to the blonde eyebrows and the little mark on her face. She's got it all. Even the bright colors. She wears different bright colors in The Sims 4, but she's got that same kind of vibe here. Jeffrey as well has a very similar look, I think, in The Sims 4, but he's got glasses and a, a beard, some facial hair in The Sims 4, but he's got that same kind of vibe still. It's just Malcolm that looks so, so different. They just, like, completely changed Malcolm, which can happen when you're growing up, but now he's got yellow hair, and, like, what happened to his yellow glasses? He was so cute back then. <laughs> I miss those days. I really do. They also have relationships in The Sims 3. Uh, this is the goth family, by the way. That's Gunther Goth right there. But you kind of scroll back, and these people, the, the Landgrabs, actually despise the Altos. Nick and Vita Alto, they're, they're neighbors across the way here. I was gonna say across the street, but it's a little bit more than that. It's like across the pond, if you will. They hate them. Hate them. I mean, they probably have some land conflicts and stuff, but they're two of the richest families in the world, so obviously they probably don't get along very well. Also, quick detour. This is where the Goth family lives in The Sims 3. These are The Sims 3 Goths. Uh, very different. Completely different Sims. Terrible house. Just, just the worst. Look at this. Just the worst. The worst. But yeah, it's interesting to look at how these Sims have changed over the years into The Sims 4, because they're the same Sims, they just kind of flipped into a new game in this alternate reality where they're different but the same. Kind of weird, kind of fun to think back on though, especially because I played this game so much back in the day. These are like classic Sims, like this Nancy Landgrab is THE Nancy- oh my god, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Hello, Nancy. This is the Nancy Landgraf, but also I play The Sims 4 so much that this Nancy is always going to be in my heart. I don't know. I just, I love these Sims. <laughs> I think they're fun. They're classic. They're iconic. They're wonderful. Just like The Sims 3. <laughs> A classic, iconic, and wonderful game. If you don't have it, please, please think about buying it. I mean, I might wait a little bit. It goes on sale on Steam most of the time in their big summer sale, which is probably going to happen within the next month or so. And you can probably get the game for like $5 or something. I don't know for sure. I don't, I have no information on that, but like, that's what I did. I didn't use to have any stuff packs and they went, they had a big Steam summer sale. They were like $4 each. So I bought all the stuff packs at once a couple years ago. Wait it out. You can find it on sale. I promise. Definitely worth revisiting though, especially if you can get it on sale. It might not run well. The Sims 3 is kind of a mess. It is a 10 year old game. So like, keep that in mind. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off right here. I also have a Sims 3 Let's Play on my channel. I play The Sims 3 every Monday-ish. I have a Generations LP that I've been playing for a few months now. It is my most favorite Let's Play on my entire channel. It is so much fun. You should please check it out. I think you'll like it. I hope you'll like it. It's really dumb and really fun, and it's linked down below as well. But on that note, I will go. I'm gonna cut off right here. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Okay, but who wore it better? 2009 Nancy or 2019 Nancy? Let me know in the comments down below.